Hello Aries, welcome to your next 48 reading. Um, we're going to be doing this a little bit different. I'm going to, I'm experimenting to see if I like this style. So we're going to start off with a money message for y'all. Okay, can I get a money message for Aries, um, October 5th to October 7th? Money message for Aries. Okay, we got the seven of, there's something about your memory is off about your money. Like maybe you forgot about a charge, maybe you forgot about an expense, or you forgot how expensive something is. Okay, or, or it, it, this this literally feels like you're at the grocery store. Like, I don't remember X being this much last time I checked. So you may be having to spend a little bit more money than you expected. Uh, I'm also getting some of y'all could be going to exchange something as well. It feels like something maybe too big or too small. Uh, I'm getting something here is like lightweight as well. Um, I do see you penny pinching. Uh, penny pinching. Penny pinching. Okay, next 48 hours. Um, it feels like you don't, it feels like a, I don't want to say cheap, okay? But I'm going to say like frugal. This feels like you're being a little bit cheap, but it's not cheap. Like it's not because cheap has a negative connotation. I'm gonna just say you're not spending as much. Like you're not trying to, you're not trying to do too much here. Okay, it looks like you you want to spend a little bit, and that's it. Seven of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. You guys could be dealing with family as well. I don't know if someone here is trying to shortchange you, or or uh, it feels like someone here is trying to rob you blind. Honestly, like they're trying to uh, overcharge you for something. So I feel like I see you holding on to your money, um, because it's like I don't remember have I don't remember me owing this money or i don't remember like ever saying that i was going to give you this like i like it's like you don't remember something aries it feels like someone here is honestly trying to play you on the price so make sure you get your money's worth okay tell me more seven of cups here for aries october 5th to the 7th their money i see you making bank deposits as well uh maybe you check your investments and it looks like you have a little bit more money to hold on to a little bit more okay sorry i got an email seven of cups what is this for Aries? Their money? October 5th to the 7th. I see you figuring out a way to make more money. It seems like Aries, the way to the top is delusion. Honestly, it feels like the way to the top is delusion. I watched an interview with Penn Bagley and Saweetie, okay? Because uh, I didn't know Penn Bagley, ba ba Penn, whatever his name is, that guy from you, jo Joe, from you, Penn. Um, I didn't know that he had a podcast. Side note, you should check that out. His voice is suave and slick like butter on a pan, on a hot pan. Um, but yeah, they had a, they had a, uh, he, he had Sweetie on his podcast and he was, uh, Penn Bagley, he's an actor. Okay. Sweetie is a rapper, all that. So they're both famous. They're both successful. They've both attained something that seems unattainable to a lot of people. And they both agree that the formula for success is delusion, a little bit, of, a little sprinkle of delusion and a little bit of hard work. So it was like a little sprinkle of delusion and a little bit of grounded energy can pretty much get you a lot further in your career if you're wanting aries what's this four of pentacles here for aries their money next two days four of pentacles some of you guys could be dealing with a sag regarding your money i see you telling somebody your money goals i want i want to say hold back on that before you start telling somebody like how much money you make or how much money you want to have it feels like a sag or some like it feels like you're discussing some important goals with someone i would say hold off on that like hold off on telling them your business um i don't know if you could trust this person yet I feel like it could be a Sag. It's giving me like um. It's giving me like a darker features or dark or something like that. Like um, just be mindful. Like hold off on that for a little bit before you tell this person anything. Cause I don't know. It just feels like they could fuck up the plans or get in the way of the goal, get in the way of what you're trying to accomplish. So I would just say just just you know give it a give it a little bit. Y'all supposed to see the cards. I put it at this angle so y'all can see the cards. But no matter, I mean, if I have the cards like right here, then y'all can see it. I guess. I also feel like Aries, some of y'all were supposed to get an amount. I, I feel like I want to say Aries, next 48 hours regarding your money. Some of you guys could be dealing with a nephew as well or a niece. Regarding your money, just kind of like forget. Like if people ask you like, oh, how much? Oh, I don't remember. Like I feel like just kind of act stupid. It's, I want to say it's like nobody's business how much you're earning or something like like just just conveniently forget or don't answer the question like, oh, I don't know. Or you know what? Maybe like give them a ballpark estimate. Like, I don't know why it seems like there's like some nosy people. So just, just conveniently forget something so that you don't have to like, this feels like you got to forget something to get out of something. This could be like a parking ticket or something. Just conveniently forget your card number or conveniently forget your identification or something like that. It feels like just conveniently forget. Okay. Um, let's move on. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio and heavy on like hold back with, uh, with, uh, refrain from like telling your goals as well. Okay, I just feel like you kind of got to pretend a little bit. Okay, we're going to do what you need to know. 
I'm timestamping these just because I want these to be in order for you guys if you want to reference it. Once again, I'm trying this out. This is not permanent. I'm just seeing how I like it. This might be a little too much work, but we're going to see. We're going to say what you need to know is five minutes and 15 seconds. What does Aries need to know? October 5th to the 7th. Um, you're making your mark on people or you're going to make your mark on this world or something like that. I'm also getting bank deposits. Y'all depositing some good money, some good cha-ching. Okay, what do you need to know? Next two days, we got the Knight of Wands. This is Aries Leo Sag. Um, I feel like you're very guilt. You're very gifted with a certain skill, Aries. Uh, you should use this to your advantage. So the next two days feels like a money, money uh, 48 hours for you. It feels like I see, it's, it's, this is either saying use your skills to your advantage or you can use something that you have at your, uh, at your, um, at your disposal. Like you, you can, uh, you can use your gifts to make some money. You're very talented. You're very skilled. This feels like a gifted speaker as well. And you know, a lot of stuff feels like knowledge Aries. You do rule the head. Okay. So everything head wise, but Knight of wands, what is this for? What does Aries need to know? Yep. Knight of wands, the 10 of pentacles. Some of you guys could be dealing with a family member as well. Next two days, some of you guys could be um, either going to see family, going on a trip, okay? Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. There's someone that's really nosy in your business. It could be like a, this could be a group gathering. Seems like there's some kind of trip that you're going on as well. Maybe to see somebody, some family. What's this Ten of Pentacles for Aries? What do they need to know? October 5th to the 7th. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Okay, so I see you have to deal with someone, Aries, in the next two days that you do not want to deal with. This feels like it's a family member. It feels like they're annoying. They keep asking you about your money or how much you're making, or they keep asking you personal questions. It's another business. What's this Knight of Wands here? Or what does Aries need to know? October 5th to the 7th. Okay, nobody needs to know where you're going, Aries. I'm about to make that your title. Nobody needs to know your business. Hold on. Because what the fuck? <laughs> Nobody needs to know your business or where you're going. Like, if you're taking a trip, nobody has to know where you're going. Like, it feels like people are in your business or nosy about, like, oh, what, what are you doing? Or what's this person doing? Or where, where are they going? I want to know what they Let me, like, they, they, everybody got their nose in, in your shit, it feels like. Tell people to fuck off. Tell them to mind their damn business. People are going to talk regardless, but I just feel like, you know, don't give them nothing to talk about. Just tell them, mind your fucking business. Nine of Wands, Three of Wands. It feels like something here is getting out of control. Like people are just all up on your stuff. So just have just have responses prepared if people are asking and you really need to get out of something here. Tell me more about this. What is what does Aries need to know? October 5th to the 7th. Yeah. I feel like conveniently forgetting is gonna be your best friend in the next two days. Like just, oh, I don't know, or I don't remember. Like, you know, not giving a straight answer, just it's none of their business. I don't know who this is talking about, but it's really nobody's business here. Seven of Pentacles. What is this for Aries? You're very dependable. Like, I don't know, people asking you when you're going to show up or when you're going to come back or when you're going to come. When, when the fuck I can. When I want to. The hell? Stop asking me damn questions. You know I'm going to show up. You know I'm dependable. Stop asking me questions about when I'm going to, when I want to. When the fuck I feel like it. That's one thing that Aries, I'm an Aries moon. That's one thing that Aries do not fucking like. Don't keep trying to micromanage. Don't keep trying to pick when you're going to win it. Don't get beat up. Okay. You mean tell somebody don't get beat up when I want to, when I feel like it, when I care to, when I give a damn, that's when, okay. But when is that? Whenever I want, you know, that's what, that's it. Okay. That's what I got for you. I don't know. Tell people to mind their damn business. You got to tell people to F off, get the F up out of my face, get the F up out of my business. This don't concern you. And that's it, okay? Um, okay, can I get some predictions for Aries, October 5th to the 7th? Can I get some predictions? We got the Ace of Wands and we got the Emperor. Okay, this is Aries energy, heavy Aries energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Uh, I see you being very blunt and direct and getting to the point. Like, I feel like you don't care about who you offend. Typical Aries, okay? You don't care about who you offend or if, if what you're saying hurts anybody. It just feels like you're being direct. Like, it feels like maybe you used to be careful with your words, but now it's like, you know what? I don't care. Y'all making me mad. You pissing me off. I don't care. I don't care. Ace of Wands and the Emperor. It feels like everybody needs to get off your neck. People need to get off your damn back. Okay, if you don't know what that is, a New York turn. Get off my neck. Ugh. Wipe them off. Ugh. Ace of Wands, the Emperor. The moon, you know what? I feel like Aries in the next two days, there are people that want you to get involved in drama and in mess. 
okay like there are people that maybe want to bring your name or drag you you know drag you drag your name through the mud okay you know throw you under the bus all that stuff you know what i'm just gonna say aries this this is what it's like to be an aries okay this is what it this is what it, i guess this is what it comes this is what comes with the territory of being the emperor being the boss okay aries is the boss the emperor is the boss okay if this is not an independent boss this is the boss of a corporation a father this is the even if you're a woman this is the energy of being a boss okay of being in masculine uh accomplishing doing finishing proactive energy yang energy this is what it comes with you're going to attract haters you're going to attract people that that don't like you this is what comes with that this is, a, this is what comes with the territory okay people are mad because you're being direct people are mad because you're an aries fuck them ace of wands the emperor of the moon i feel like aries your energy just transmute it back to them return to sender send that shit right back like that don't let people put don't let people like there's a mix of like don't let people like try to stigmatize you or put anything on you in the next couple days there may be people that are trying to like latch onto you or stick certain ideal idea uh ideologies onto you and it's like it's not true so just dispel it like nah that's not mine that's your energy you're putting your energy onto me okay that's not that's not how i feel about myself that's not who i am that's who you're assuming i am or that's who you want me to be how about let me take that let me stick that off of me and stick it back your way or send that back your way so some of y'all may be having to return a lot of stuff to sender. Some of y'all could be exchanging something earlier, like, uh, but it just feels like, um, you know, there's people that are going to try to like latch onto you or just throw, like, you know, they say throw stuff at the wall, see what sticks. There are people that are going to try to throw stuff your way or, you know, attach like certain mindsets or certain frames of whatever, certain things your way, certain opinions and thoughts. And they want you to fit that mold. They want that to be true so bad, but that's just not who you are. So um, just be like, no. That's who you are. No, I'm not a bitch. You're a bitch. No, I'm not this. That's you. Don't tell me that I'm that because I because you want it because I don't know. It feels like maybe because you're a big deal or because you're the boss, because you're Aries, because you're the emperor. People want to stick certain things onto you. And it's like, you know, at, you know, at, at, a, at a job, everybody's going to blame the boss for something. The disgruntled employees, they're always going to blame the boss for all of their issues. Oh, my God, they missed their bus in the morning. It's my boss's fault. Like, the, everybody wants to pin something on somebody. Everybody wants you to be the scapegoat. Be like, no, you missed your fucking bus because you didn't plan ahead of time. That's not my damn problem that you're irresponsible. How about you think ahead of time next time? You know, like, people are going to try to make things your fault is what it feels like. I see you being blunt and direct and cutting people off like you don't care. What's this Ace of Wands? This is Ace of Wands here for Aries, October 5th to the 7th. Ace of Wands. The seven of wands. Yep. I see you being really, really blunt, direct. Uh, everything's taken care of. It's just a day. It's a day in the life of Aries, a day in the life of a boss. That's what it feels like. Just a regular, regular day in the life. People pissing you off. You making people mad. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to uh, what's hidden from you. We're going to say that's 13 minutes and 10 seconds. What is hidden from Aries next 48 spirit? October 5th to the 7th. What is hidden from Aries? October 5th to the 7th. Okay, the devil. Some of you guys, there's a Sag here that's hidden from you. The devil. This is Capricorn as well. What's the devil? What's hidden from Aries? The devil, the two of wands. Okay, you're going to overhear something about yourself that's not true. It feels like someone here is slandering your name or spilling stuff that's simply not true. What's this devil card here for? Um, what is what is hidden from Aries? October fifth to the seventh. The devil. There's like some Capricorn or someone here that's jealous of you. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Virgo, or a Cusper, or something like that. That's jealous of you. They're speaking badly on your name. The it, I, okay, Aries. It could be because you're you're big or you're popular or something like that. Or or maybe maybe you're just a boss. Like maybe maybe you're big. Maybe you're a big deal or big shit. Maybe you're the shit. Someone here is bad mouthing you because of who you are, because of your role. They don't like who you are. They don't like you in the position that you're in, but it's like you worked for it. You, you earned it. The devil. This could be another Aries. Someone here is like jealous of your success. Maybe because their business is failing or they're not doing well. So they're talking shit about you. I feel like someone here is jealous. They're like blasting your name. Like, I mean, like, oh, the devil, 10 of cups. Yeah. Someone here is jealous of you because, because you got something and they don't because you're something and they're not. Maybe you're respected. They're not. Who is this for um who is this for Aries? October 5th to the 7th. What's hidden? Who is this for Aries? Who, yep, we got the six of wands. I was getting that because you're successful or some of y'all are big. Some of y'all could be famous or well known. Um, 
who is this the devil this person likes to twist your words i'm getting sad energy off of this but this king of swords honestly this feels like someone here could be mentally unstable this and this person likes to twist your words i'm getting like a mental instability with this person i'm getting sad capricorn aries um they're jealous feels like someone here is unstable who is this for um who is this for aries king of swords october 5th to the 7th who is this yep they're jealous of you i was getting virgo it's because you're it's because you're successful and they're not that's why they're jealous of you because you got success and they don't so they're like twisting your words or blaming you or or talking shit on your name it feels like someone here really wants you to be the bad guy in their story i mean that's too bad though king of swords and the hermit it feels like someone here is unstable this person could be a liar like they just be lying on people or something like that i don't know but they blasting your shit so whatever you told them just be careful that you ain't tell them nothing crazy because they blast your shit on the net okay so i'm gonna just say that um all right let's do uh what did i want to do for you i'll do a postcard no i'll do one of these We're going to say that that is, I'm trying to stay organized, y'all. I'm sorry. You know, I don't care. Y'all Y'all should be grateful the timestamps is here, okay? So that y'all ain't got to sit. You could just come back at your viewing pleasure. Okay. Can I get an oracle card for Aries? October 5th to the 7th, Spirit. Someone here loves your features. If y'all got long lashes, someone here loves your lashes or your features. Also, if y'all got long legs, someone here really likes your legs long legs or something like that some of y'all like look like a horse okay lovely and luscious elegant lavish um can i get an oracle card for aries october 5th to the 7th oracle card for aries october 5th you know what aries someone here is really mad because you're doing good and they're not i'm gonna just say that i'm about you know i might make that your title instead someone here is really mad because you're stable or you're doing good and they're not like their shit is failing or they're unsuccessful they want to make that your problem Okay, we have community. I'm getting something here about community guidelines. Make sure that you're reading something thoroughly because something here could get restricted. Okay, so make sure that you're following within 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 guidelines and make sure that you're following something. I don't know, this could be like for a business. Make sure that you're within your legal rights or that you, you can do something because, you know, they may get you on some kind of misdemeanor or stipulation, whatever. We have community. Um... This card shows three women celebrating, sharing ideas and supportive energy. The lights in this picture represent your ever-present spirit community as well. When this card appears upright, it indicates an association of some kind. It may be a casual connection of like-minded people joining a club or community of some sort, or even a business partnership consisting of three or more entities. The time is right to make such new connections and to share intentions, whether they're personal or professional. Networking and community are important parts of the human experience, and the security and sense of connection can be beneficial to all. It is true that whenever several people join their intentions, it accelerates their power in the energetic realm. Receiving this card puts you on notice that the universe is sending some beneficial alliances your way. Like the happy family card, this could also indicate a party or celebration of some kind. Some of you guys, this feels like you guys could be receiving a parting gift from like a business. Uh, or a parting gift from like a, yeah, like a job, a parting gift. Um, I, I see celebrations. Celebrations and partying is um, is in order. Okay, but that's what I got for you, Aries. You guys can watch this for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the north node. Um, once again, don't get you too used to this style because I'm not sure how I feel about it. My channel, I'm still experimenting um, to see what I like just because I want to do more frequent videos, but I, I just want to, I want to provide value in some way, so I'm just trying to experiment. But that's what I got for y'all. I hope this reading helped you in some way. I hope it resonated and I will see you in your next reading. Bye Aries.